welcome dear students today we will take the new lesson of your science book that is matter in our surroundings to the new lesson matter in our surroundings first we will discuss about what is matter actually matter is anything which occupies space has mass and offer resistance these are the three qualities which decide the matter that means occupy space has mass and offer resistance these are the three points which define is matter anything which occupy space uh, and has mass and offer resistance is known as matter now what are the surroundings or you can say understanding the concept of surroundings uh, throughout the history of humanity humans have uh, in different times and they uh, they try to understand the concept of uh, the matter present in our surroundings uh, early indian philosophers classified matter or you can say the matter present in our surroundings they said that these the matter is formed of five things or five substances or five elements uh, they named it as panch tatva and what what is the panch tatva actually these are the five basic elements which constitute the matter in our surroundings and these are air water fire sky and water these are the early uh, indian philosophers they uh, said that the matter in our surroundings is formed of these five elements air earth fire sky and water these are known as panch tatva and modern uh, day scientists have Uh, classified the matter on the basis of uh, physical properties and chemical properties we have to deal with both these uh, properties the matter or the uh, characters of matter based on physical properties and chemical properties first we will take the physical properties physical properties of matter the first physical nature of matter what is it there are usually five points by which we describe the physical nature of matter number first point is matter is made up of particles particles of matter are very small particles of matter have space between them particles of matter are continuously in motion particles of matter attract each other these are the five things or five uh, points by which you can define by which you can featureize the physical nature of matter how uh, this matter is made up of particles basically there were uh, two schools of thought one was saying that matter is continuous matter is continuous and another said that matter is particulate particulate that means matter is formed of small particles and these small particles join together to form the bigger uh, substances and the first school that uh, was saying that matter is continuous what is uh, matter is continuous i will explain it uh, like that uh, if uh, for example we add salt to a beaker to a water glass and if we add salt to it the salt particles will be present in this uh, water glass if we uh, remove some uh, water from this uh, salted water then add more uh, this water into the another beaker into another beaker into another beaker uh, till infinity it will go on go on go on that means continuously matter is made of continuous particles matter is continuous but it was not correct uh, then the another school of thought that means matter is particulate that means matter consists of small particles like what is the experiment regarding this you have to take a beaker and add some water on it uh, you have to add salt to it and this salt gets added uh, into the water that means the salt particles uh, you cannot see these particles in the water that means the salt it is also a matter salt is made up small particles that means it is the experiment which uh, which characterizes that matter is made up of small particles every matter is made up small particles now how uh very small they are second point particles of matter are very small how small they are they are for example we will take uh, a chemical known as pot potassium permanganate potassium permanganate potassium permanganate 
potassium permanganate these are the actually crystals colored crystals we have to add these potassium permanganate crystals to the water to 90 ml water to 90 ml water then when you add these potassium permanganate two three crystals to 90 ml water the water will turn pink then you have to or you can say 100 ml water not 90 ml 100 ml water then you have to draw 10 ml from this uh, from this uh, solution to another clear water that is 90 ml water you have to add these 10 ml it will become uh, again 100 ml the color of the solution will change then again 9, 9, 10 ml is drop into another 90 ml you will get continuously up to 7 or 8 times uh, that 10 ml and 90 ml you will see the concentration of the color in these beakers or in these uh, glasses will get uh, faint, fainter, fainter and fainter. That this means that the particle at some point you will see that some very small particles or you can say you cannot uh, see them with the naked eye simply you can indicate it with the presence of color. Uh, this are having more color, less color, less color, less color and this experiment shows that particles of matter are very small. Next is particles of matter have space between them. For example, if we add salt to this water glass, it is having water H2O, we add salt, salt to it. When we add salt to it, does the level of the water will rise or not? No, it will not rise because the water molecules are having the spaces between them and in these spaces the salt water molecules get accommodated. That is why when you add salt to the water, the water level will not get raised because the small particles of the salt get accommodated in the spaces between the particles of matter or between the molecules of water. It indicated that the space between the matter, uh, particles of matter is present and in these spaces the salt, the salt water molecules get. Uh, uh, now another is fourth point, part, particles of matter are continuous in motion, continuously in motion. If you add uh, a tablet of ink, if you add a tablet of ink to water, water, ink tablet, ink tablet, you will see that you, you don't have to disturb the water for uh, some time. You will see that the ink tablet, the ink will get spread throughout the glass, throughout the water in the glass. It shows that the particles are in continuously motion, that is known as diffusion. Uh, diffusion from high concentration to low concentration whether it may be solid liquid or gas next is particles of matter attract each other if we break a chalk if we break a chalk a chalk an iron nail what what will be possible for you to break easily chalk molecule chalk particle uh, or you can say chalk we can break the chalk easily but the iron nails uh, we cannot break them easily because the particles in the chalk are very really, very less attracted to each other and the particles of the nail they are very strongly attracted to each other so that we cannot break them that is uh, that is the experiment that particles of matter attract each other they are they are closely attracted to each other in different types of uh, these substances thank you have an idea